The Gambia International Airlines, or GIA, has been the pride of the Gambia, the smiling coast of West Africa, over the past two decades. Following the liquidation of Gambia Airways Limited, GIA was incorporated in January 1996 and it kicked off in March the same year as the primary ground handling services provider at the Banjul International Airport. From onset, its mandate was to offer air transport services to the Gambian public and related services. It started small and gradually building up. Um, at the beginning, the main revenue and I was used to be an steel ground handling. If I say ground handling, our activities are flight operations, is our key mandate, but related services are ground handling, cargo handling, travel agency services, and hatch activities. So these are the four main Four, four or five main activities that we engage into. Ground handling being the major revenue and But gradually we observed that um, reliance on only ground handling, the revenue base is narrow and uh, it's making it difficult to achieve the objective of being the best airline in the sub region. But that's the strategic direction. Well, that's the mission statement. With the vision to grow beyond what was in the mission statement, GIA authorities came up with ambitious plans to boost the revenue and increase the scope of responsibilities. We first of all embark on improving our revenue base by improving, consulting our, our grip on, on the do well activities like ground hunting. We consulted our grip on it. For instance, there was a time the bus service at the airport used to be handled by GPTC. And there are a lot of complaints, former GPTC, there are a lot of complaints about both sides. But the buses that we have provided we are not up to international standard for tarmac transfer services. When they took over the services, bring it back to us, we bought new co buses that is up to international standard. Buses that you can find anywhere in this world, in Singapore, in US airports. That's what we target. So we start with, with those activities to improve our revenue base, grip, starting our grip on revenue generation. In doing that, that also means, you know, air industry is all about, um, it's all about compliance. With that done, we, we also come to sales and service side, that's, that is ticketing services. It's very competitive though, because in the small Gambia, you have more than 35 to 35 ticket sale agencies. It is very competitive, more so for a government organization. Because we are government, we are we, are, we operate under rigid conditions. We are, we, are, we are not flexible like the private sector. But what we did now, we are trying to sever this sector of the organization to stand on its own. We've now successfully incorporated into an, a, a, a company on the GIE, you know, now doing the hard services. We're really progressing because as you know, all what people need is good services. Yes, and then that is what we are giving. Any customers who enter this office, always is we attend you and give you the best of our, our, our ability. And we do all what you need in terms of travel. Staffs are more, more, much, uh, very much motivated, and then um, this is why they are giving their best to the clientele. This is why the clients are also reminding, are reminding themselves to come back to GI and then tell others to come back to GI because of the quality of service they receive from us. As part of the success stories, GIA in February this year launched its multi-million dollar ultra-modern cargo complex at the Banjul International Airport to revitalize and stimulate air transport. We start with cargo. Cargo, there was a time, the cargo department was a liability. It was making, it wasn't making any money. In fact, money wanted to close it. So with this new strategy, when we came, we improved the services train the staff, and then solicit funding through Ministry of Trade, the government, 
to get we, we got IEIF funding to build a model cargo complex in GIF. Right now we're currently in the acquisition of RA3. RA3 is a validation that um, allows third world countries to freight uh, to air freight to EU countries. So that is a very important validation that we we're, we're almost done with and um, the cargo facility would be more you know more saleable if this validation is complete we are at the end of the uh, end of um, you know end of this validation the complex boasts of a replay scan double view scanner among other facilities guaranteeing and strengthening security and safety the car cargo facility has two chill rooms that co that school rooms that we can put in Perishable cargo. Perishable cargo is like horticultural cargo, vegetables, fruits, and medication, if you like. Um, the cargo facility is also equipped with a state-of-the-art scanner. The scanner that, you know, for the whole of West Africa only the Gambia has. And we have um, 10 uh, CCTV cameras to, uh, to secure the place for the security of the place. Infrastructurally, it has improved the Banjul International Airport. As the GIA operations increase, so are the plans for the future. And at the heart of every plan, there is a revenue boosting strategy for a stronger national economy, for a better Gambia. The first step we want to do is to turn all revenue generating departments into subsidiaries, companies. But we'll first tend in them uh, sub business units, then turn them into subsidiaries. The second step would be to venture into new line of business, one of which is catering, catering services, airport hotel and commercial center, aviation academy. All these are absent in the Gambia. We are now working on those. The catering is first to most on our priority. After we are done with these new projects, we want to build a catering company. Currently, no, no, no EU carrier is operating catering from Banjul. It's all good for the airport. Currently, we're working on um, getting a new departure control system that is state of the art, that, you know, mainly all carriers um, use worldwide. We are in the process of getting that, and it will boost the service that we provide for our carriers. When it comes to traveling, all what you want to know, or all what you need, this is what we offer. So, and this is all what people need. And we have to decide always for cheapest flights, cheapest fare for the customers. And I think in the present world now, everybody is going for something that's cheaper. And this is what we offer. So, <laughs> we are progressing.